this magic book, any evil plan I write comes true. But to harness his power, I need the final page that is protected deep below the surface by one legendary hero. Will you stop playing that tiny piano? Sorry. Attack! I think we have a few minutes before he gets here. Oh, he's right on top of us! Burn the door! Got it! Bullseye! From Paramount Animation and Nickelodeon Movies. That pirate's gonna destroy our world! Aren't you overreacting a bit? Patrick, what are you doing? Vandalizing stuff. Isn't that your house? To save their world. Come on, team! Let's get that book back! They must come. Oh. To ours. What is this place? Uh-oh! In 2015... Oh, a giant hairy porpoise! Beast! We need to get these guys back in the water! Put your back in the water! This place smells awful! Comes the 3D motion picture event. So hot! Oh, where have you been all my life? <laughs> this is uncomfortable. And so extreme. There's the book! Now it's our turn to rewrite the story. You need new pens. Those guys must work out. I think they're in my spin class. <laughs> All right, here comes the pain. Ah! Ah! It ain't good. Huh? They're beautiful. SpongeBob movie, Sponge Out of Water, in 3D. Mr. Super Awesomeness, take him down. <laughs> Maybe we should have picked a better superpower for you, Patrick. Antonio Banderas, what are you doing? Oh, this has got to be a new low, not just for Banderas, but for Hollywood stars signing on for paycheck gigs. Wow, it was like Robert De Niro. Even he had, even he had more, uh, more shame than this. He could not do it. Uh, but Antonio Banderas, maybe he owes a lot of money to Melanie Griffith in their divorce. I don't know. I can't think of a good reason to take this on. Uh, and he's not even nailing it. I feel like Antonio Banderas is like it's one thing if he was doing a great job here. He just, you just kind of feel bad for him. And I hope, I hope he's not too big a part of the movie because I have to say. Antonio Banderas aside, I actually kind of think this looks pretty good. I mean, it made me laugh, and I'm really impressed with the transition they were able to make from animation to uh, CGI animation, you know, 2D to CGI for this series. I buy the characters in this environment, and they look adorable. I think they picked the perfect size. I don't love so much when they become superheroes at the end of the trailer, because they just kind of look weird and they don't fit in. But pri although there's that joke with the bubbles and the bowling, uh, I mean, in the, uh, uh, the cannonballs, was pretty funny. I mean, it was, it was bowling ball humor, I guess, but I, I laughed. I laughed several times during this trailer. Well, I laughed, but I, I chuckled to myself. I, 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 I quietly LOL'd. And I, I could definitely see myself seeing this in theaters because uh, it just it looks looks funny. And, and some of you have pointed out that some of the original talent has returned to the show. And I think that's very uh, very clear in the humor. Uh, it's, it's just as smart as it is in the animated show or the earlier seasons, I guess. I'm not a regular watcher of SpongeBob when it's on or I need something to watch sometimes. I'm like, oh, let's watch SpongeBob. I think they work really well in their, um, you know, 15-minute segments or so. I think that's smart for when you just want to fill some time. Uh, but I just, as I said, they look adorable in that size. I think they picked the perfect um, height for them, the characters to transition with humans. And I think on Patrick, when he ate that ice cream cone, I was totally sold. It looked like Patrick was eating a real-life ice cream cone, like in reality. And he had ice cream all over his, uh, himself. He just looked really cute. And so I think this could be a really, you know, a, a breath of fresh air for this franchise. Uh, and maybe it, maybe you could see it move into CGI animation going forward for a couple of films or, or more. It looks fresher. It looks fresher than Smurfs. It looks fresher than Alvin and the Chipmunks. And I think that while a lot of, uh, even those uh, franchises are not doing well these days because they've tired themselves out with their audience, this could reinvigorate people's interest in uh, live action CGI hybrid films. So what do you think? Are you willing to admit it looks funny too? Or are you like, nope, I can't admit that I like this movie. What do you think of Antonio Banderas? Are you embarrassed for him? And do you think that you can get over that embarrassment to enjoy the movie? 
or you're just not going to be able to get over pity watching it. Uh, and just what do you think of the size of the characters, etc. And what was your favorite moment from the trailer? I'd have to say mine was Patrick eating the ice cream because he just looks so cute. Uh, write your thoughts down below. Thank you so much for tuning into my review. You sure are dropping a lot of trailers today, huh? Wow. All right, and you can check out some more of those trailers and my reviews right now.